In Loveland now, controversy continuing over the city's sales tax. Residents voted last year to eliminate that sales tax on foods meant for at-home consumption. The measure passed overwhelmingly with more than 14,000 votes, but now city services are being impacted. Your reporter in Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas, has been following this story since last year and joins us live tonight from Loveland. Yeah, Dylan, the city did warn voters before it passed that some services could be impacted by that decision. You know, it was just a year ago that I was right here in Loveland sharing with you at home how the city said the sales tax elimination could result in them eliminating services. And now here we are a year later, the sales tax was removed and the city is saying they're looking at removing services as they had promised. So now less than a year after that tax was eliminated, some residents are actually calling on the city to reinstate that sales tax. When it comes to identifying where Loveland is facing budget shortfalls, you don't even have to leave City Hall's parking lot. I love the, the Loveland Library and the staff is very helpful. But now, due to city budget and staffing issues, the library is starting to cut their hours of operation and residents are noticing. It's not a huge um, change. There's just so many other programs and, and things that could be really affected by cuts. On the other side of the parking lot, the city's iconic lagoon remains in disrepair. The city unable to find the funds to locate and fix a leak. There is a 10 to $13 million budget shortfall. Which is why a new group has emerged calling on Loveland to bring back a sales tax on most groceries, less than a year after it was eliminated by the same voters. They also don't know, realize the impact that a 3% on the budget would uh, have effect. Um, to them, it's pennies uh, on their groceries, and they don't realize that pennies adds up to millions of dollars. The city confirms they have started formulating a reduced budget for 2025, and those reductions are expected to directly impact services that many residents have grown accustomed to. Our concern is that if you cut, it's sort of like your savings account. You always mean to get it back and you never seem to. Everyone will be impacted by this. We will no longer be a full service city. It will be kind of basics, which I think we all very much value those services. That's what makes Loveland. That's the culture. So losing it is a huge, has a huge impact. In a statement issued to CBS News Colorado, one of the main advocates to eliminate the sales tax last year told us that the city has, quote, portrayed that as the cause of substantial shortfall, end quote. But they claim that the city has had a long-term imbalance when it comes to revenue and spending, adding that they believe the elimination of the sales tax possibly just, quote, brought this problem to the forefront, end quote. I'm Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you. Remember, Dylan is your reporter for all Northern Colorado. So if you have a story idea for him, you can reach out through CBSColorado.com and always call our tip line.